Hey there, today I am bringing you my keto cut slash keto slim down week seven. I have been kind of struggling the last few weeks, so I am trying to get back to basics, figure out how I can make these slim downs work for me again because they're really just helping me maintain my weight rather than actually losing more weight. So I will go ahead and insert what I ate this last week and show you my results. Okay, we're on a slim down. I have my first meal of the day. It is one of these uh, Silva sausages. I'm so bummed I bought two packs of these and I do not like them. I mean, they're okay, but um, I prefer the Evergood. So I'm gonna try and break these up with the Evergood sausages so I don't get sick of this. But I have some mustard too. It is, it's 10 o'clock right now. I have one Evergood sausage with a little bit of barbecue sauce and the mustard from earlier today. It is 12 o'clock now. I am gonna have just under two servings of this Halo Top Peaches and Cream. Um, it's warm today, so I am going to have that and hopefully that'll cool me down. I put a quarter cup of this mozzarella cheese, which would be 80 calories, on a piece of parchment paper. I wanted to try and make a cheese tortilla shell this way. I put it in the microwave for 45 seconds. I don't particularly like the consistency of it. It's like hard in the middle and then kind of um, like rubbery around the sides, but I'll use it for now. I just think I like uh, the other method of cooking it on the stove instead. I'm gonna go ahead and put a half of a hot link sausage inside there and make like a sausage taco. And I think I'll top it with a little bit of ranch dressing. Since I had the Halo Top ice cream instead of the Enlightened ice cream, I'm trying to get more fat in. I put a teaspoon of this ranch. It's definitely not the best ranch. If you know of a, a good ranch dressing that's low in carbs, please let me know in the comment section because I love ranch dressing and I can't find one that's good in carbs. But uh, this one has one net carb for two tablespoons. So it's 110 calories. I calculated for one teaspoon, that's about 18 calories. I wanted just a little something cold, so I had a little less than two servings of the strawberry Halo Top with um, 50 grams of almond milk and two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna have two servings of these pork rinds. I'm just wanting something spicy right now. This is gonna put me over for my calories, but I just feel really snacky. Day two, slim down. Oh boy. I'm gonna have the half a sausage I didn't have yesterday, uh, the Evergood sausage. I woke up really hungry, but um, I don't really wanna eat a sausage already, so I'm just gonna have half. To my morning emergency, I'm going to add a scoop of this uh, Vega Electrolyte Hydrator. This tastes so gross. It looks like Pepto-Bismol. Um, but I have it, so I'm going to use it. I am really worried about getting dehydrated because it's getting warmer. So this is the nutrients. And I just add one little scoop. Um, I got my emergency all ready, so I'm going to mix that in. Maybe that'll make it taste a little, bo a little bit more drinkable. I'm going to eat a half a bag of these pork rinds because I'm hungry and I'm not ready for lunch. I have one of those Silva sausages with some mustard and I'm going to eat this. It's 12 o'clock. I measured out two servings of this Halo Top chocolate chip cookie dough. I'm pretty sure this is stalling my weight loss, but I have a couple pints so I need to eat it. And I also added... Um, two tablespoons of my nuts and more salted caramel peanut butter. This one here, just to get some more fat in there because Halo Top is low fat, so that adds 14 grams of fat there. So I'm gonna see if this kind of helps um, the Halo Top to not stall my weight loss while I'm doing this slim down, but we'll see. I just had to let you guys know, this uh, nuts and more peanut butter adds so much flavor to ice cream. I've tried it in yogurt before and I didn't like it, but I really like it in ice cream. This uh, 
chocolate chip cookie dough is not all that flavorful of the uh, Halo Top. But with this, um, this nuts and more peanut butter, oh my god, so good. And I've had the nuts and more peanut butter on bread before and it doesn't add all that much flavor. It doesn't have a very strong like peanut butter flavor or salted car caramel flavor. But in here, it just, it adds a lot of flavor. It's really good. It doesn't look like much, but it tastes so good. I have a whole nother pint of the Halo Top cookie dough, which is pretty flavorless by itself. It's basically just like a chocolate chip. Um, and I have two tablespoons of the Nuts and More salted caramel, which for some reason, the Halo Top flavorless ice cream brings out the flavor in the peanut butter. Day three. Ugh. My first meal of the day is gonna be one of the Silva sausages with some mustard. I'm gonna follow up my lunch with this chocolate chip cookie dough halo top. I'll do two servings and I'll do two tablespoons of my nuts and more caramel peanut butter. I know I shouldn't, but I'm going to have some of these pork rinds. I'm going to see if I can have just half the bag. We'll see though. And the whole bag's gone. Whoops. I have some salted caramel Halo Top ice cream and I topped it with the last of my nuts and more salted caramel peanut butter. And then I also had this Crazy Richards. People say this is so good. I really don't like it. It's very bland and it's not even all that salty. It doesn't have sugar in it, so I get that's why. But um, I think next time I'll definitely add like some erythritol to it because it's just, it doesn't, it's not enjoyable for me. But maybe on the ice cream it will taste okay. Day four. It's 8 a.m. I'm gonna have my first sausage with some mustard. I'm gonna have seven cookie bites. 140 calories. I have one serving of the enlightened chocolate glazed donut with um, one tablespoon of this Crazy Richard's peanut butter. That's the macros there. And then I also added one teaspoon of Swerve to the peanut butter to make it a little bit more sweet. I am going to have one of these raspberry cream smart cakes. I am doing my um, ketone test product review, so that's why I'm gonna have one of these. I'm gonna have this uh, Grenade Carb Killa Caramel Chaos. Um, I haven't had one of these in a while. It is, I uh, can't show you, it's 220 calories, so I'm gonna have this. I'm having another serving of the Enlightened uh, Chocolate Glazed Donut, and I had added two tablespoons of this Crazy Richard's peanut butter, so that'll be 180 calories there. I also added some Swerve to it. Um, it makes it taste a whole lot better, so, um, and it actually makes the peanut butter go farther too. So. I am going to go ahead and eat this, and this will be my last meal. It is 8.30, kind of late. Day five. I'm going to have one Evergood sausage just by itself. They taste so much better than the Silva one, so I just want to enjoy it. I have a little drink here. It's my daily emergency. But I also added one scoop of this Vega Sport Hydrator. I've been trying to be more cautious about my electrolytes. It's getting warmer. Um, this really tastes gross, but if I add it with my um, emergency, it doesn't taste as bad. So I've been having at least one scoop of that every day this week, I believe. I'm having two pieces of this Chompy Cinnamon Raisin Toast. It is 66 calories each. I'm going to have one of these Keto uh, Slim Fast Fat Bombs. This is the Caramel Nut Cluster. I went ahead and had this Quest Double Chocolate Chip Cookie, 5 net carbs, 240 calories. I'm going to have a tablespoon of these Big Believe White 
chocolate chips. The macros are one tablespoon, 50 calories, uh, zero net carbs. I have one and a half servings of this chocolate glazed in lighten um, and two tablespoons of my Crazy Richard's peanut butter, which is one serving. I had some of this uh, five layer bean dip. I don't know how much that is because I didn't measure it. Two tablespoons, 35 calories. Yeah. Okay, let's see how we did. Okay, so I started the week at 130.8 and then you just saw my weigh in at the end of the five day period that I weighed 130.8. I'm pretty bummed about that. I lost absolutely zero pounds in this whole five days. So still feeling pretty frustrated, but um, I want to try a different kind of like main meal, like different fat instead of sausages because um, I need to try something. So I'm going to try that and um, kind of go from there. If you guys have any suggestions, please do let me know. I think it was suggested in a couple slim downs ago for me to nix uh, prepackaged foods and I think I might be getting to that point. So um, if you guys have any other suggestions, please do let me know. I would love to hear what you think. I am kind of just trying different things. So if you guys give me an idea for me to try out, I'll definitely test it out and see how it works. Um, if you guys let me know what you have done that has really worked um, for you, that would be super helpful too. But that is all I have for you guys in this video. I will see you in the next one. Wish me luck. Bye guys.